So today is day 88, and that's an incredible thing. 88, love the eights. Um, just got off a call with the great morning call, and for those unfamiliar, just my friends Cam and L. they run a, a community online, the best online community I've ever been a part of, where for 30 minutes, they give a brief introduction and then for 10 minutes you go into a breakout room 10 to 15 minutes where with two or three other people and you do 10 gratitudes each 10 affirmations each and one high vibe healthy habit and I just want more people to be involved with this because I think it's such an amazing service to the world it's completely free and yeah I'll put the link down below but it's really important to start my day and I think more people would feel the same if they just spent 30 minutes into the Zoom call and were filled with a little more joy and love in their heart. Um, today is the first day that I'm not on 75 hard, which is is awesome for one reason, and that is I get to have a croissant and I've been looking forward to this croissant maybe for the past five days. and. You know, I was thinking about this yesterday where it's like there's no there's no part in me today that wants to binge and wants to remove the progress that I've made for the past 75 days. And I think that's where I've grown. Five years ago, I started the, and did 75 hard for the first time. And after the program was over, I just wanted to drink alcohol and uh, party and and it was really two months of doing that where I went into this depression was it two months I mean it was more like January February March I finished it December December kind of floated around the baseline but then January February March I went down into I spiral and I think what's different this time completing it versus in 2019 was it is just a sense of okay I need to have standards for myself that are things that I check off every day that allow me to be the best version of myself and yeah it's it's a completely different um way of being and and there's a lot of I have a lot of trust in myself today whereas in the past I just wanted to go to the complete opposite direction and and that's something for people who are completing challenges or or doing 75 hard I think it's really important to note it's like what are the standards for yourself after you're done with the program for me now it's going to be to meditate every day to take 15,555 steps every day. It's going to be to read 20 pages of a book. It's going to be to do the I love myself practice and mantra over and over. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself over and over. Um, it's going to be to get four lifts in a week. And... It's going to be to record a video or do some writing online every single day. This, this will count for my creative act here. And I just wanted to make sure I did everything every day for my spiritual, my mental, my physical, my emotional. The emotional pieces. Talk to one person every day and view the conversation through their eyes. And one thing for creative. So it's physical, emotional, mental, creative, and, um, and spiritual. And so if I could do all, all of those every day, for me, I will have a day that is, is great. And I think having those standards, very important. You know, I was, I was on the walk yesterday, my final walk, my final workout for 75 hard. And I was just reflecting on where I was three months ago or two and a half months ago when I started where I was 76 or 77 days ago. 
It's just a different human being. You could go back and you can see day, uh, you know, day 10 or day eight or day five. And it's just a different energy. And 75 heart is a huge reason for that. So the growth of the whole program, of the whole, of everything that I've done really stuck out to me and, and has really made an impact and has really, um, it's made me really emotional and really, we can change, we can grow. The person you are today, if you're not happy with it for any reason, you're, you're three months away from that person that you want to be, always. And the quicker you realize that and the quicker you act as the person that you want to be and take the step today and, you know, and when you're in that place, when I was in that place of day 10, trying to figure a lot out, trying to figure it all out. But what's just the next step? The next step for me was to do 75 hard. I even mentioned it in a, in a day eight or day nine video, maybe seven. But I had an intuition of it that this was going to be the program for me that's going to take me out of this place. And if you can just focus on, if you can narrow that focus, when the problems seem big, if you can just focus one step in front of you. You don't have to solve everything. You don't have to figure it all out. You don't have to figure out why you're in this place. You don't have to figure that it will come by virtue of you upholding commitments to yourself. And I'm grateful to have upheld this commitment to myself of doing 75 hard. It makes me feel really good. It makes me feel very strong. And it makes me know that I'm capable of doing what I say I'm going to do, which brings power back to you, brings power back to me. And that's um, an amazing, exciting place to operate from. Also, I did this program with my friend Talia, and we shook on it. And one important piece from the whole thing is I told her, you know, I've com when I've completed this program before, it's been because I made a commitment with myself of it doesn't matter how many times I have to retry this. I'm going to do this or die trying. So if I get to day 72 and I fail, I'm going to go back and I'm going to complete this program. And the reason why I made that commitment is because I know that if I if I don't go to those extremes or that level, I'm not actually going to complete it. And I wanted to make that commitment because I knew how dark it was in my reality. I knew how, um, I knew I didn't want to go back to the place of day 10, the day 10 out of a hundred video here. So because of that, I really wanted to make sure that I was a different human being on the other side and that I got to the other side. And today, I am officially on the other side and on the other side I make commitments that are not Andy Frisella's commitments to himself the creator of 75 Hard I'm making Danny's commitments to myself and I trust myself enough to uphold those which is a it's an amazing feeling so yeah want to give a huge shout out to my friend Talia who is such a light in the world and she's such an amazing human being and she is also somebody who is committed and has committed and she failed on day five and then got right back up and she was like all right I'm doing this and now she's on uh, day 70 I believe so this this program was made so much easier by virtue of doing it with her 
and um, and knowing that I shook on it with somebody in my physical reality. And that's also the another important piece of having the commitment is, is somebody holding you accountable? Is somebody that you see on a consistent basis going to be upset if you fail? Or going to hold the standard for you if you fail? We don't want to look bad in the eyes of others often. So having somebody who knows or many other people who know you're going to do this program is, is very effective for not just 75 hard, but any commitment you say you're going to make. So that's a little bit about what's going on in my world. On the other side, I'm going to have this croissant and enjoy it. Thank you, God, for this croissant. Thank you, God, for allowing me to go into the other side and um, and transform myself through my actions because ultimately your actions are going to transform you and they're going to propel you into a different person so we are always making those choices for the actions we take and let this video be a reminder to take the actions that are in alignment with the person that you want to be and if you want to do 75 hard with me, you can check out my daily commitment. Should be my link in bio and in Twitter. And um, yeah, very grateful for you watching this video. Very grateful for you checking all this out and join Great Morning. Come to a, a call and join my daily commitment and just do the things for yourself that are in alignment with the person that you want to be. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.